Time for On Town. Hey, Anna. Good morning. The artist featured in this gallery was drawing at age 71. That's when Joseph Yoakum picked it up after retirement and said, I'm just going to start drawing in my apartment in Avondale Park here in Chicago. And now he's in the Art Institute. Mark Pascal is here with me. Good morning, Mark. Good morning. Thanks for coming. What gave him that it factor that, you know, landed him here and at the Whitney? Well, as you can see, mm -hmm. they're landscapes that are very uncommon. Mm -hmm. um, he was a untrained but great draftsman. Mm -hmm. He was very conscious of shape and form, and his line work was incredibly beautiful and, and sinuous. This is made on uh, on what kind of paper and he, with what tools? He drew largely in, uh, with ballpoint pens uh -huh. and pencils, then colored pencils and chalks, wow. sometimes felt tip pens, but very early on, he drew on uh, children's paper, manila paper, or newsprint. You can see in this drawing down here. Yeah, this totally, you can tell that it's manila paper. Exactly. M Mark, and he claimed to have traveled the world, but we re you know, we can kind of neither confirm nor deny. Right. Well, he claimed to have traveled with circuses, uh -huh. and uh, circuses did travel broad, broadly abroad mm -hmm. and in this country, and he mm -hmm. traveled by train a lot. There are drawings that have trains in them sprinkled throughout the yes, gallery uh -huh. and it was something that he was very focused on mm -hmm. and the one one of the things that we love about his drawings mm -hmm. is the way that he would come back to a composition like mm -hmm. this rainbow bridge mm -hmm. this one in beautiful color and mm -hmm. right behind you is one that's on white paper mm -hmm. in ballpoint pen so it's a kind of skeletal version of it and you see his writing here too why would he write on the on the work of art he wanted to identify each and every place as very specific, and part of that uh, had to do with what he referred to as a spiritual unfoldment. I he said it. that, yes, I know. Uh, I love he, it. he referred to mm -hmm. his process as spiritual unfoldment. He would make the drawing, remember where it was, and then draw and then write the specific location where it was. And usually, the location, I mean, all the locations are real. Mm -hmm. I've checked every single one of the drawings in the Art Institute. Mm -hmm. They are actual places on, a, on an atlas on, on the earth. Mm -hmm. He sometimes spelled them phonetically, and so there's yeah. some kind of eccentric, uh, funny spellings about them, but he knew what it was. Wonderful. Guys, that's around town from the Art Institute today. Come check out all this wonderful art that we're lucky enough to have here in Chicago. Have a great weekend.